Hello, welcome to Winner the Poo Day. So I haven't finished setting everything up yet, but I thought I'd show you what it looks like so far. So we are having a Winner the Poo Day themed party. So um, it is a Wednesday as well, so it's Happy Wednesday today. And I'm gonna show you what we've got because we've kind of collated lots and lots of Winner the Poo things. And we're gonna have a Winner the Poo themed party. So I'll show you what we've got so far and then I'll show you what we're doing with the food and other bits that we've got going on as well. So, so far we've got a yellow tablecloth. We have plates. More plates. And bowls. So, and these are from Asda. So it's actually their picnic range. So that's what we're doing for crockery, for tableware. And then we have uh, glasses. These are really cute. These are from Denelm. So they cost five pound for two. So one has Winnie the Pooh on. And one has Eeyore on, you can see. I think they hold about 350 milliliters of liquid. Let's set up the rest of the table for table one. Food's not out yet, but the table is a little bit more set up, so I'll show you some more of the things and tell you where we purchased them from. So over here we have the 100 acre wood sign. I can't remember where we got that from, but they're not that hard to find. Those ones aren't. Uh, we've got uh, wallpaper from Donnell. Have the Disney Winnie the Pooh Lego set. Some colouring sheets. Uh, they were actually from Australia, so um, Target sell those. But I'm sure you can, again, pick up colouring sheets if you want to do a colouring activity. And then this is the table so far. So I've already showed you the plates and bowls and the cups. We've got Winnie the Pooh teapots. Silly old bear. Um, they were purchased online. I'll pop a link to those if they're still available. We've got honey mugs. Winnie the Pooh on. They were from the Winnie the Pooh Cafe. So we went to the Winnie the Pooh Cafe and it was lovely. It's just the sweetest little cafe there is and it's Winnie the Pooh themed so you can't really go wrong. I will pop a link in the description box below for our review video um, and I'll also pop in where that is. So if you want to visit the Winnie the Pooh Cafe you know where it is. The Winnie the Pooh characters were also from the Winnie the Pooh cafe and they come with little foamy stickers as well so you can stick them to the walls. So you've got a Tigger in the pack, Piglet and Winnie the Pooh. We've got yellow bee plates, bee hives, you can see. These were from the range. We've got a little jar here of gummy bears. So they're Haribo gummy bears and we're going to play a game, guess how many poo bears are in the jar. They were actually really tricky to get. So we went in every supermarket and we could not find Haribo gummy bears anywhere. Uh, then we found some in Milton Keynes in the MK Centre and then we found some in Tesco's as well. <laughs> so we managed to find them in the end. They are out there so if you struggle to find them just keep looking and hopefully you get some like we did. I can't believe it's so hard to find gummy bears. Anyway, then we've got a cake stand. Yeah, I can't remember what that was from, I wanna say TK Maxx. Might be wrong. And then we've got some Winnie the Pooh figures which we've had absolute ages. Uh, this beehive, which has got honey in. We actually got this from a charity store in Canterbury. We've got some, these are actually plant pots, but we're going to, 
they've been cleaned and we're going to pop crisps in them that's what I call a friendly day these were from Asda as well again we've got the Winnie the Pooh DVD video cases at the back there they're from the Disney store Winnie the Pooh from the Disney store I can't remember where this plate was from and it doesn't say so we've had that one a little while we printed these off I'm gonna run around the other side and show you those we've got a big piglet and a Winnie the Pooh sign a day without a friend is like a pot without a single drop of honey. So these are popcorn buckets that we printed off. Hip hip hooray, puree, rumbly in my tummy. So we've got a Winnie the Pooh one, a piglet one, and a tigger one with his tail there as well. So cute. So they were printed off. That's the other plant pot. So they come two in a pack. We've got look at these they just go on your plant pots um these are also asda so you got the eel and ticket there and winnie the pooh and piglet there we printed off these signs so we handmade these as well computer made them still counts handmade if you use a computer i think it does so we handmade these as well so owls wise tea you can pop that over there with the tea maybe move Kanga over here we've got mini Winnie the Poohs, Eeyore's house, Poohs honey ham sandwiches and we left a space and put the end backwards in there Kanga and Roo's springs, pigs in piglets in blankets, 100 acre woods, rainwater, Tigger's tails, poo sticks, Lumpy's favourite snacks, rabbit's veggie patch and again we put the R backwards on that one Christopher Robbins jelly cups, bee cupcakes, and rabbits vegetable garden. So that's what we're up to so far. Also have some more cuddly toys to put out, and we've got uh, today is my new favourite day cushion and blanket. We have a giant balloon, and when the poo is now holding it, uh, the balloon is from Walmart. It's just like extra large balloon and then we've got some more balloons going on there that we're going to then hang these characters from now my balloon assistant is here to help me <laughs> so we've got two nails here and I've put a piece of string up and then I've folded the balloon over and stuck a Winnie the Pooh character so we're going to put yellow and blue balloons along the back there and have the characters hanging down so it looks like they're holding on to the balloons have a look like christopher robin will be hanging on to a balloon as well okay these are the balloons i'm really pleased with how they've turned out look I like they're simple yet yeah, effective. My hair's kind of gone on frizzy from the from the balloons. Ta da! So please have those. Um, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna make um, carrots out of strawberries. So I'm gonna dip the strawberries in like orange chocolate and then put them in the fridge and then drizzle. Um, milk chocolate over them to make them look like carrots and then we're going to make a uh, rabbit's garden patch and I'm going to prep some more of the food as well so I'll show you when the food is prepped and now I'll probably show you when the strawberries are done because I get so excited about these things and then I'll show you some more so so far though I'm really pleased with how it's turning out and if you're enjoying this video so far hit that thumbs up button, give it a like, and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on more videos. I'll go prep the food. <laughs> so we've got our strawberry, and these are chocolate orange drops that we've just microwaved to melt the chocolate. And then we're trying to cover all of the red. So we're gonna make the strawberry look like a carrot.
the chocolate melts we used were the deco melts fun cakes they're orange so here's our carrots um we're going to put them in the fridge and then drizzle some chocolate over them as well to make them more carrot like and then we're going to pop them on this which is tgi friday's chocolate brownie heaven that's what the packaging looks like if you want to buy one and we've got a little fence that's going to go around it as well so it looks like rabbit's veggie patch now we have our completed winnie the pooh table let's take a closer look so we've got cheetos for tigger tails We've got some vegetables and dip for Rabbit's Vegetable Garden. We've got Pom Bear Chris for Mini Winnie the Poohs. How cute do these teapots and tea mugs look? We've got Lumpy's favourite snack for Flumps. We've got chocolate orange matchsticks for Poo Sticks. Christopher Robin's jelly cups. We've got little jelly cups. B cupcakes, so we actually purchased the cupcakes and popped them in the cases. The cases were from the range. We've got popcorn in our popcorn buckets. Pooh's honey ham sandwiches. So we brought a cutter from the internet for the Winnie the Pooh faces. Then we've got for Eeyore's house, we've got Twiglets and purchase those from Marks and Spencers because they taste really good. Rabbit's veggie patch, so that's the veggie patch we've been working on and showing you as we went. What do you think? Add a comment in the comments box below. And we've got Kanga's Roo Springs, so we've got pasta, salad, we've put some tomatoes, cucumber and then a sauce in there as well, dressing. And then this is the birthday cake. Look at that. I feel like we chose the perfect one because it looks like it's honey dripping down. And for the toppers, we purchased um, plant sticks from Asda. One of the few plant sticks. <laughs> Last minute edition, piglets in blankets. Yum, 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 yum. Guess how many mini Winnie the Poohs are in the jar? Add a comment in the comments box below. Check out my Instagram to find out the answer for how many mini Winnie the Poohs are in the jar. So this is the birthday cake. It's Tesco's finest lemon curd drip cake. Soft vanilla sponge filled with lemon curd buttercream and a zingy lemon soak. Covered with Belgian white chocolate ganache decorated with a lemon curd drip, which is what looks like the honey dripping down. <laughs> so this is the cake and then we bought Terry's chocolate orange white chocolate segments and popped them around the edge. We put extra marshmallows on, extra white chocolate buttons and you can see some more segments on the top as well there. And then the toppers are actually from Asda and they are um, plant toppers, but we didn't buy them for that purpose. We thought they'd look great on this cake. I still really love the like lemon curd dripping down because it looks like honey. It's my favorite part of the cake. Tesco's finest lemon drizzle cake tasted good. It was probably, I'd say a six out of 10. It wasn't amazing and I was kind of disappointed considering it was Tesco's finest. I kind of expected more from it, but I feel like looks wise, design wise, it worked perfectly for the Winnie the Pooh day. The uh, TGI chocolate brownie 
was good if you like chocolatey things you'll love it because it was very like ott on the chocolate so if you do like chocolatey things then i would highly recommend it i'm not a huge fan so i just had a small sliver of that one um but the chocolate strawberries were amazing so and i'm really pleased with how those ones turned out Thanks for coming along on our Winnie the Pooh Day Adventures. Um, the only things I forgot to mention where they're from, I think, so if I'm wrong and there's something I missed, let me know. Um, the cushion, the Winnie the Pooh cushion was Disney Store and the yellow blanket that was on the sofa as well, that was Baby Range in Asda. I think that was really cheap, but something like £8, so it was a pretty good price. Thanks for watching, do all these lovely things, like and subscribe, and if you want to add a comment, add a comment in the comments box below. I've got lots more videos coming up, and I am posting every week now. Thanks for watching, bye!